today on Retro Wormhole, we are going to be looking at Photoshop version 3.0. Where is the setup? So this is, yes, yeah, so this is the installer right here. So it's gonna install to Photoship. Yeah, and I like how it, because it's so old, it reads all of the, the data in kilobytes instead of megabytes. You know, this used to whop in almost 20 megabytes, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I guess for a name, for a name, we'll just do farts, I guess. Uh, why can't I click? I cannot click for the life of me now. Oh, are you kidding me? All right, so, well, that was interesting. For some reason, the program just froze, so. Wow, yeah, no, look at that icon, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, come on, I've already restarted Windows twice. All right, let's do this again. Yeah, no, let's open Photoshop. Oh my god. Oh, I love that splash screen. Adobe Photoshop 3.0 license to fart. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to use a wallpaper as an example. Let's see if I could do this. You got your little layer channels and paths thing down here, which by the way is still in modern versions of Photoshop. Want to know how I know? Because I use it. I guess we, we'll just add text, why not? Uh, oh, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, isn't there, isn't there supposed to be a layer here that's text? In the bottom right? Wait a minute. Oh wait, here we go. Is this it? See, I'm trying to right click it, but it's not, god. See, look at this. It won't even, yeah, there's not even a thing that lets me select the text. Oh my god. Alright, so we got the lasso tool, but I can imagine this is probably like nowhere near as good. You know, you can, as you can see, you could cut out a part of the picture, but unless if I, again, unless if I'm just being stupid here, because I'm just so used to it being where if you make a change like that, like let's say you add text, it automatically creates another layer. Just found the stroke effect. So we're gonna make the stroke. Let's see if this is, make it outside. Let's see if this is what I'm thinking of. Yep, that's it. That's exactly it. Edit. These were literally like the only effects. These were like the only settings you could do for text or picture where now you have like all different types of things like you got glow and you got all the other distortion there's a bunch do a lens flare i'm curious to see how the le how the lens flare is for the mid yeah for the mid 90s this actually isn't that bad for a lens flare you could probably make probably make like a modern thumbnail in this version of photoshop just type in 1280 by 720 yep and there we go so now you can just make your thumbnail if you want oh wait there we go that did it okay so basically if you want to make it a text layer all you got to do in photoshop 3 at least all you got to do is you know you click you know you with your text tool you click you know you type in what you want It'll just be like, hello, I guess. I don't care. And then when you're on the floating selection here, you click this, and this makes it a new layer. I hope this didn't crash. <laughs> I'm trying to prove my point. It just crashes. All right, that, that did it. Yeah, for some reason, that took forever. But well, this is weird. It's literally like you got to do... I can't even, like, right-click to see my options or there's not even like any oh what is it like layer options down here yeah no you have to go into yeah you have to go into like mode or filter color picker Let's see if we can change the text can we change the color of the text oh my god even in the thing even here yeah it doesn't even show you the color what how do you then how do you change the color of the text then if you can't even... There's got to be a way to do this. I know there's a way. Is there like color filter or like, what is it, color correction? Yeah, this is, I believe, the rectangle tool. So you just select, or you know, you just select with the rectangle. This is obviously the lasso tool, which, you know, you can cut out certain parts of an, of an image. But I don't think 
this version of Photoshop would be able to like remove things, but put in the background. I don't think it's a this version's able to do that, obviously. So yeah, no, the magic wand basically selects or it tries to select like certain parts of an image. So like this. See, it actually highlights kind of around the halo as well as where I cut the <laughs> where I cut the part of the wallpaper off. So yeah, it's actually yeah, this is actually not bad. The only reason why it's only doing it in bits like this is just because it's just because of this this wallpaper. It's literally like different colors and all that. Yeah, that's the selection. Okay, yeah, so now that's the selection tool. This just, I believe, moves, but I, it doesn't seem to be doing it. That's probably zoom. Yep, that's zoom. Oh, so you just select and then it just cuts and it crops that image to this. That's actually pretty cool. Paint bucket tool. You could just paint. <laughs> yeah, this is obviously, yeah, no, this is the eraser or eraser. I can't speak today for some reason. Ooh, this is the spray paint tool. Ooh. Paintbrush. I believe this is a stamp. But yeah, no, this is actually like really limited in what you could do. But I mean, I guess for back in the day, this actually isn't that bad to tell you the truth. Because I mean, again, this is 1994, this release. So imagine, you know, in 1994 having a tool like this, this is actually kind of good. It's actually kind of a really good tool for, for 1994. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, you know, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more upcoming content. And until next time, guys, peace.